Well, it's going to see first, obviously, about Friday's game. It's a big game. It's going to be on ESPN3, and also, you know, it's going to be like to coach against Joe. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know uh, quite exactly how I'll feel going out there. It'll just be great to see him catch up with him on Thursday night. Uh, mm -hmm. I know he's having a great time coaching the women's team down there. He's mentioned how much fun he's had getting back into the game after being out a couple of years. And mm -hmm. I know the kids are absolutely loving playing for him. And they'll be uh, spirited and ready for us. I imagine the intensity has been picked up a little bit down in Hanover this week for a week of practice to play us in Clarkson. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you know, with Matt uh, being a former player, uh, you know, he's got two former players coming into town to coach against them. Yeah, I was going to ask, I was just curious how much everybody learns things from different people, but what you do now yourself as a coach, how much of what you do is stuff you kind of picked up from Joe? I mean, if you had to guess, like, percentage-wise or whatever, like, is it, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you pass it down, you know, Vonner taught, you know, Vonner coached under Joe and then I coached under Vonner and mm -hmm. uh, had a year with Billy Wilkinson, another St. Lawrence uh, alum. And uh, then with Joe, you know, playing for Joe, but you know, all of them have very similar philosophies in terms of how to handle certain situations, but most importantly, you know, make sure the kids are uh, well taken care of. And uh, that's been first and foremost in all the, the years that I've coached under Donnie and Joe and, right. and Billy. And, you know, I think we've all taken a lot from Joe is, you know, Make sure you have good relationships the best you can with uh, the players on the team. Obviously, some of them are, are dictated by playing time, and some don't work out uh, right. the way we all want them to. But uh, I think, uh, for the most part, uh, about 90% of the kids that have played for Joe, hopefully that have played for me, uh, yeah. played for Matt, played for Vonner, uh, have all left knowing that uh, their best interest has, has been uh, at the top of our minds. That's always that sometimes because obviously you want to have a good relationship with people. But there's also times where you got to be like the tough guy and the disciplinary. How tough is it to kind of have that balance where you can, you know you're not letting them walk over you, but you also have them, you have them enjoy playing for you kind of thing. Right. I mean, I, I think the biggest thing is that you try not to make your relationship based on playing time. And yeah. uh, I think any relationships that are based on playing time aren't going to go very well yeah. uh, because that's you know almost uh, like getting a, a new pair of sneakers. Things re they wear out after a while. I think you got to delve a little bit deeper and uh, create a little bit more of a relationship. Uh, I mean, I want to be I want to be a part of their lives here in St. Lawrence, but I don't want to be in their lives at St. Lawrence, nor do they want me to. So, uh, you know, try to walk that balance. But, you know, quite honestly, a lot of the things that uh, I do or what Kate and I uh, do as parents with our own kids, our kids are, you know, getting to be about the same age as the kids that they coach. And, you know, a lot of the same techniques that we do uh, as parents uh, certainly have been beneficial here with the team. I ask you about the way you guys played last weekend. The uh, offense really had a good weekend. What did you like about just what you guys did against RPI and Union? Yeah, I think it was a good confidence booster for us uh, coming back from break. Um, getting back from California. Um, I think getting some pucks in the back net was definitely good, but our goalies also had a strong weekend, um, mm -hmm. letting in a few goals, which was nice to see. I know obviously every team wants to win every game they play, but at this stretch of the year, do you guys kind of feel like that's kind of a given just with how competitive it is to get move up in the pairwise and stay in your spot in the ECAC and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think every weekend we just go into it, like every game counts. Um, we definitely want to get back in the rankings. Um, we slipped out of them in California, but um, I think every weekend counts, and um, the next four points this weekend are huge. What do these two teams kind of bring as different kind of challenges? I know Dartmouth's having maybe a little bit of a tough year, but you know Harvard's a team in the past has been pretty good. What do you kind of expect to get on this road trip? Um, they're both going to be uh, hard, fast, lots of pressure, so we're going to have to move the puck quick, keep our heads up, and try and just stick to the game plan that we've been working all week, um, getting pucks to the net and things like that. The other thing I was going to ask you real quick was, uh, was it kind of weird when you were in California you didn't have Hannah on your line? Is it kind of a strange experience to play a game with her? Yeah, I played a bit of center, which was kind of weird, um, but everyone was good. We all jumbled the lines. Everyone was playing with everyone. It was kind of fun mm -hmm. to experience playing with everyone on the team. Um, yeah, but it was a good trip for us. First off, I was going to ask you about getting your first career goal last week. Uh, what was your reaction when you saw that going? Um, well, it was kind of unexpected. It kind of yeah. trickled in, so I was really excited. I probably screamed as loud as I could when I ran yeah. after Panda, so it was really yeah. exciting. At every level of hockey, obviously, that's a big deal. Uh, as a freshman, the longer the season goes, do you start to wonder, like, what am I going to get this thing? Or are you just kind of willing to wait it out and see? <laughs> well, more like everything comes as you work hard, so it was just a matter of time, I think, because I was trying mm -hmm. to work my hardest. So. What's been, like, the biggest adjustment to, to, to this level for you? Like, what have you noticed when you first got here that's different from um, when you were here? first got here, probably skill. Yeah. Everyone's a lot better, and that's the greatest thing, because then you can learn to be better yourself. Mm -hmm. I was wondering too, like some of the veteran players, is anybody that's really gone out of the way to help you out or somebody that you just kind of watched yourself to kind of learn from or anything like that? Um, every single one of them. I yeah. try and take a piece of every single one's skill and try and work it into mine maybe or try and incorporate it in my okay. playing of my game. 
I was wondering too about uh, just the puck. Like, what did you do with the puck from your first goal? It's in my saw. <laughs> I was going to ask you lastly just about you know this weekend coming up. Uh, these are places obviously the freshman every trip is new. What are you kind of looking forward to going to Dartmouth and Harvard? I always take like something uh, I've seen there and like you know kind of remember it as a place yeah. in my head. What's been your favorite like road trip so far? Is there any rink that you really thought was a neat rink or just um, fun? Probably in? going to California oh, this yeah. past Christmas break. That was so much fun going to the Anaheim rink. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks.